Hey everybody, it's Adam, live and in person for you. Hey everybody, it's Adam, wonder who he'll interview, call me Adam.com. Hey guys, it's Call Me Adam, and we are here live in New York City with singer, actress, and mother Maxine Linehan. And we're going to be talking about her new CD, Beautiful Songs, as well as your acting, motherhood, and anything else that comes up. First of all, you are from Ireland. I am. And you're now living here in the U.S. Uh, what made you want to come here? I always, as a kid growing up, wanted to come to New York and be on Broadway and be an actress. Um, but as life works out, that's not what brought me here. Um, I was an actor as a child, but uh, ended up not studying theater in college. I became uh, what's called a barrister in Europe, an, an attorney. Uh, and I worked for a company in London. And uh, very funnily, I told the CEO when he hired me, um, when he asked what was part of my 10-year plan, I said, it's to eventually live in New York mm. um, and, uh, and, and be an actor. And he was like, well, that doesn't really fit in with our 10-year plan. <laughs> but, you know, honesty is the best policy. We, we, were, we became very, very close over the years and turned out that they then opened a New York office five years later. Oh and gosh. they asked me to be part of that company. Uh -huh. um, and that's what brought me here. So, you know, wow. at the time I wasn't acting. I was, I was a serious corporate executive. But being in the city you know, that is the epicenter of theatre, it was very difficult for me not to pursue uh, theatre again. <laughs> so um, through a number of circumstances, I, I ended up getting back to theatre and uh, have never, never looked back. And now, of course, I'm a mother. Yes. My husband is a New Yorker and my two kids are New Yorkers. So. That's wonderful. And how, has, how do you feel motherhood has maybe changed what you do with your music and with acting? Does it influence anything you, you record or the roles you choose to take? I don't tour anymore. I can't go and, you know, do four-month sit-down productions in places. I mean, you, you, you can. I just <laughs> choose not to. I right. couldn't be away from them. This has been a really great um, sort of outlet for me mm -hmm. that uh, allows me to keep singing and working and, um, but, but to still be a mom at the same time. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's wonderful. And speaking of your music... You just released your new album. Yes, beautiful, beautiful songs. songs. What I love about your album is that it's a very pop yet jazzy yet show theatrical, tune, right? Yes, yeah, kind of feel eclectic. to it. It's a nice mix of music. A lot of the songs are about love, and there are also a lot of songs in there about heartache as well. Originally, I was thinking about um, you know who my favorite composers are, and Leslie Brickus is one of one of my favorites, and I've um, recorded "Walk Through the World," which is a mm. song from from Goodbye, Mr. Chips the movie and Scott was like what what is it about that song that you love so much and I said I just think it's so beautiful and he said well why don't we do a whole show of beautiful songs <laughs> who wouldn't like that so then putting the songs together they you know they had to have we had to have a, a, a story to connect them all or a thread um, and so it just ended up being songs that were meaningful to me whether about being a mother um, being a wife so you know they're all really special to me um, and they're all either melodies or lyrics that that's speak to me as a person. I love, uh, some of my favorite songs on the album are, um, I love Paris. I oh. think the way you sing it, it portrays such a beautiful picture and it, I was like, I feel like I'm in Paris and I didn't even have to leave New York to get there. And I love just listening to it and you just paint it so, you paint a picture so beautifully with your words. Thank you, thank you. What do you get from acting that you don't get from singing and vice versa? What do you get from recording music that you don't get from acting? The, the big difference is um, when you're singing, doing cabaret, doing concert work, you get to be yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and some people really love that. Some people really do not love that mm -hmm. uh, because it's a, it's a, a level of vulnerability and, and, and it's very personal mm -hmm. because you're not you know, behind a character. So, so that, that's the biggest difference to me, but I, and I love that. I love being able to be myself on stage and talk about personal experiences and connect them to the music that I sing. Um, but, you know, being able to portray roles um, is, an, is, is a very different but still wonderful thing. What's the best advice you've ever received? Something that I now am 
tell, tell my children is that you have to love yourself before you can love anyone or anything else. And I think oftentimes you're not raised to think that way. You know, certainly as an Irish Catholic, that sounds incredibly selfish. <laughs> <laughs> Self-love is not something that we promote. But um, I remember realizing that, that if, if you're not able to love who you are, what you stand for, what you do, then that's just going to spill over into every other part of your life. Um, and when I, when I hear my five-year-old, almost five-year-old saying, I have to love myself, Mama, right? I'm like, yes, you do. So that's, that's a big one for I me. I love that. That's really good advice. Thank you. And that's good that you're teaching that yes. to your children. Yeah. And my last question is, how do you want to be remembered? Um, most importantly, I would like to be remembered as a, as a good mother and a good wife and a, a good human being. But if I were to leave an artistic legacy, I hope it would be in, you know, one of the things that's been very different in recording, in the recording arts than the performing arts is, is, is its longevity. Mm. You know, when we recorded this album, it made me think, my kids will be able to listen to this when they're grown up. Mm. And they'll be able to give it to their kids and say, this is your grandma when she was, you know. So to be able to create music that lasts, that people will listen to in generations, mm -hmm. that, that, would be, that would be pretty swell. I think you will achieve that with beautiful songs. We will have beautiful songs to listen to for generations to come. Yay. Just ask anybody who's had them, had them, played for the business of show. Call me Adam.com.